Most people today live in urban centers. With all the wonders cities have to offer, sometimes we forget that we are still biological beings who are dependent on clean air, water, soil, and energy for our very survival and health. This is why climate change affects all of us. As I get older, I see the elderly are among the most vulnerable to rising temperatures. With fewer options on where to live and less money to pay for luxuries like air conditioning, older Canadians need help dealing with changing climate. But it's not just older folks like me who should be concerned. Rapid changes to our climate disproportionately impact our farmland, something that will lead to higher food prices at the checkout stand for families. Canada also feels the pinch when farms in places like California are crippled by record droughts. The pressure on freshwater resources is more evident every day. So how do we keep communities secure for everyone? The latest science shows that what our future looks like depends very much on the actions we take today. The good news is that we are already seeing some leadership on climate change at the provincial and municipal levels. But we need to do more to reduce the carbon emissions that are driving this problem. After all, our future will not be determined by chance. It will be determined by choice.